Hey everybody, K Plum Games here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we we did more of Silph Co. We didn't actually complete it like I thought we might, but we did do a lot of it, which I'm proud of. Um, this episode, we're hopefully going to be finishing up Silph Co. But in between episodes, I wanted to do a few things. I don't remember which is HM4 Fly. I believe it's. HMO2? We're guessing here. Let me try it. Um, but I wanted to teach Fly to Charcoal while we were here in the Pokemon Center and before I forgot. Hey, Fly! Okay, good. Uh, Charcoal wants some Fly. So Charcoal, I did some research on as well. Oh, what did I delete? I f deleted Growl because I friggin' clicked too fast. Jesus Christ, that was scary. Um... Gotta learn to not click so fast. Jesus Christ, that was dangerous. If I put Ember in my first position, we would have a problem. Okay, minor heart attack aside. Um, yeah, so now that we taught Fly, um, I think it's a good idea to go back to Self Code so we could try and finish it up this episode. But I want to talk a little bit about our future endeavors after we're done Self Co. Um, I don't believe we're going to be doing the gym leader this time around, but I did some research into the next gym leader, Sabrina, uh, the psychic type gym leader, and it turns out that her stat spread and her Pokemon spread is exactly the same as Koga, who we fought a few episodes ago. For whatever reason, and I don't know why they did this, they did not make her any higher level than Koga, and they did not give her any more Pokemon than Koga. So she's literally the exact same stat spread in terms of the Nuzlocke because everything is randomized, therefore her team is going to be randomized, therefore it's going to be the same fight as Koga, technically, because everything level-wise and Pokemon-wise is the same. The only thing that's going to be different is what she gets randomized. Um, so we'll see what happens. Quit messing with us, kid! But that actually makes me happy in a sense because we took down Koga just fine, which gives me hope that Sabrina won't be much harder. And we also have a better team this time around. No shade to Brussel. Brussel, you were MVP for like an episode maybe while we were like putting early route encounters and balls. But uh, yeah, not needing much of you lately. Uh, cause we got charcoal now! Uh, Raticate. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna risk it. I have five levels up on you, so, uh, we have Stab Fly. Might as well. Now, Fly in this gen is, uh, a little bit unreliable. Well, Fly in general is a little unreliable because it's only 95% accurate. It's not 100% accurate, which makes it, uh, fallible to misses. I did not mean to click Ember, but it's fine. You know what, your defense, Corlang? I'll just stick with the Embers. We'll, we'll stick with it now. Stomp. Does decent damage, I guess. About 20. Almost. Yeah, um... I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good, mostly, about where we're at right now. Hopefully Charcoal will be at a good level going into um, the gym coming up. I hope that he can get caught up with the rest of the team. I work for self, what should I do? You should poo in your pants. Bingo! The card key opened the door. Hey, bingo indeed. All right, bingo! <laughs> I, I don't even... I, I guess I forgot that they say bingo when you open the friggin' doors. That's great. I love that. Okay, let's fight you. I assume you're a fight. Yeah. I support Team Rocket more than I support Self. <laughs> you chose the wrong team to play for, my friend. I thought he was gonna say something witty, like, I support Team Rocket more than I support my own children! <laughs> I'm so quirky and terrible! <laughs> I really thought that was the direction it was going when I started reading that dialogue, but then I remembered this is Pokemon, and they wouldn't do that. Oh, shoot. Okay, so uh, remember a few episodes ago, 
When I was talking a little bit about how、um, the more episodes you record in a session, the more deranged the commentary gets. I believe we're starting to get to that point for this recording session. I think that anything after one episode, I start to go mildly crazy during recording sessions. But you know what? I think is great. It makes commentary better, and、uh, it makes me happy. So. We're gonna continue on with the unhingedness and、uh, see where it gets us. Fury attack! How dare you, you little bird! I like how Dodo、um, is supposed to have like two heads that are like equal to each other, like they're supposed to be the same size, have equilibrium between the heads. That's a phrase, all right. Equilibrium between the heads. You know what? It's fine. Never mind. It, it's fine, but yeah, like、uh, Dodo is supposed to have equilibrium between his heads, but here it is in Gen One having a sprite that shows like two heads with completely different sizes. Makes me feel bad for the fella. I mean, the thing is just trying to live its life, but it has two lopsided heads, and I I can't help but feel sorry for it in a sense. Oh my God! It's the Gary fight. I knew there was a Gary fight here. Wait, what voice did I give Gary? Oh gosh, I gave him the, like a pompous voice, probably. What kept you, Caleb? You know what? We're going with this vibe now. Ha ha ha! I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Well, I'll have you know. Gary Oak, Gary Choke, if you will. That I have gotten much, much better. Wheezing. This thing is gonna go kablooey.、Um, probably the first chance it gets, which makes me think we need to go into our highest defense mon. Yeah, you're my best bet because you resist. You resist self destruct, and you also have dig. So、uh, we're gonna go into serpentine. Wow, I'm surprised you didn't self-destruct there. Okay, well we're gonna go for dig. You're gonna try sludge. That's cute. Two shots. Oh my god, critical hit! Serpentine, go off, queen. All right. Uh, Magikarp. <laughs> I love the fact that there's a friggin' Magikarp on your team. A level 40 Magikarp. Never thought to evolve it. Just a friggin' level 40 Magikarp. We love to see it. It's gonna give like no experience, even though it's level 40, and it literally did four damage to a friggin' fully evolved Charizard, and it lived, and it slashed a taunt in my face. Oh my god, Magikarp MVP, bro! All right, Nidoran, 37. You only have one level on me. Let's try to take you down. We are fully evolved in your first stage evolution, so、uh, yeah. I mean, hopefully we can take you down, and that would be pretty cool, if you ask me. Taking out two of your Pokemon, Jesus Christ! Drunkle's supposed to be lagging behind. What's wrong with your team, bro? Okay, Vaporeon actually is gonna pose a threat. Let's go to Bulbas and start pedal dancing. I think that's the strat. Sand attack, you ho bang! Yeah, you missed. Was that a one in two fifty six miss? Oh my gosh, you got friggin' screwed if that's the case. Another critical hit, jeez. Those things love me today. Seven seven seven. Hey, let's play the slots. Need a king. Um. Well, you had a Nidoran before. I'm just gonna switch train for the experience. Cause we are still trying to get caught up. Jesus, you're level 42. I did not know that. Oh frick. Ugh, you have such low defense, Ashley. Chase. Hmm. I'm gonna really hope you don't have a ground move. But that's such a risky play. That doesn't. No, we gotta go to lock and ice beam. That's just that's the smarter strategy, I think. Or an attack. Okay. Let's just go for Ice Beam. Honestly, 
You're just poison stinging me. I thought you had much scarier moves like Earthquake and like Sludge Bomb, but... Oh shit, I froze? Hey, let's freaking go, mate. A potion. A freaking potion! What's that gonna do for you? You're at like 2 health. Now you're at 22 health, and now you're at zero! Like, you really thought you could do something there. Oh my god. Charcoal. Grew to level 37! Ayy! Oh ho! <laughs> That's a palindrome. <laughs> so you are ready for boss. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot the voice. So you are ready for boss rockets. Alright, well, we did the damn thing. Well, Caleb! <laughs> Uh, oh, sorry, pause the game. Oops. <laughs> I have that map to one of my buttons. Oopsie doopsie. I'm I'm Gary Oak, and I'm moving on up in the head. But check my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. <laughs> I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Woodley 4. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. <laughs> well, Caitlin, good, good luck to you. <laughs> Don't sweat it. <laughs> I'll smell you later. Please don't smell me later. J just don't do it, Gary. It's not worth it. I don't want to kill anyone with my Oda. Alright, Lemonade. Because I don't want to go all the way back to the center to heal. Talk to me, good sir. Oh, hi! You're not a rocket! You came to save us! Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. We got a friggin' Pidgeot? Yo! That's Dupes Claws, by the way, because we already have a Pidgey in the PC, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I'll nickname you something. I didn't know we got a gift Pokemon here. That's new. I mean, since I can't use you, since you're Dupes Claws. Unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure we don't... Pretty sure we already have a Pidgey in the PC. So I'm pretty sure you're Dupes. We'll check that later. Invalid was sent to Pokemon Box 2 on PC. Oh. Sorry, but I got a Lapras in episode 1. That's, that's not Lapras. It's a Pidgeot. But thanks for your contribution, sir. Your service is very much appreciated. Okay, um... What the frick? That guy was looking down. How do you see my asshole? You tell the asshole. <laughs> Jesus. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Put that whip away. <laughs> Please buy me dinner first. Oh my god. Charcoal Executor, how do you like flying? I'll, I'll hit you with the fly. Cause I'm a fly boy. Hypnosis didn't friggin' hit, you loser! I'm gonna ember you now. You're gonna die. Cute. Isn't that just so quirky of us? Cypher! Cypher, before it got good. God, Cypher was actually... I mean, Cypher is okay in Gen 1, I guess. There's not really any good bug moves. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Cypher didn't even get Scizor in this generation, which is very tragic. Yeah, Scizor didn't really get good until, uh, Gen 4. Uh, Star You, Star You, Star You, Star You, Star You, Star Me, Star Everybody, you see? Well, we might as well get experience. And switch out to Tulip. Tulip! Um, so I decided not to give High Jump Kick to Tulip because I don't want to risk putting High Jump Kick on Tulip and then having it miss on probably one of our more frail Pokemon. I didn't actually research the move, but I assume it works like it did in the older generations, so I'm just not gonna risk that. On Tulip. I'm just gonna keep the moves that we have, and if anything better comes along, then we will consider it. But for now, high jump kick is just too risky. Don't, please! Fine, I won't. Okay, so this is like the entrance to the boss. Is there anything we missed? Because I feel like we probably missed something. I, I don't know for certain, but like. It feels like we missed something. It just feels too good to be true. Yeah, there's a lot more trainers here, so I might as well fight them while I'm here. Soak up all the experience. Put it into your veins. And eat it up like it's breakfast. 
I don't know where I was going with that. Let's just pretend like I had a destination in that train of thought. Because we all know that I clearly probably did not, but uh, hey, might as well try to give it a shot. Cypher again. Cypher? I hardly even know her. Jesus. Look at that boy, so eager to like cut somebody. Ain't gonna happen to me. Oh my gosh. Yo, level 38. This place gives you a whole shite ton of experience and I'm here for it. I love the fact that you get so much experience in this place. It makes it like worth it to fight everything because like we literally are almost at level 40 on charcoal when we were level 30 two episodes ago. That's what I'm talking about. We need that fast experience growth because we need charcoal to be caught up with the rest of the team. And I mean the fact that charcoal is surviving so well and actually taking down some Pokemon just shows that it's like here. Bingo! Yeah, Charcoal is here and ready to like mess some shit up. I, I already know that. You look tired, you should take a quick nap. Don't give up. Hey, Got healed. I didn't know this place was here, a healing place. I friggin' love the fact that it says bingo. I know I said that last time, but damn, is that like friggin' Is that good writing or what? Does that not hit you in the bingo? And I don't even know what hitting someone in the bingo would mean, but uh, let's pretend like it's a phrase that every human being would say in their day to day. Okay, that didn't really do anything for us. There's a thing here, any items? Now I'm just on the hunt for items and such, and any trainers we might have missed out on. TM12. Let's see what that is. TM12, TM12. Growth. Booster special by one stage. Setup move. What, do you, what does Ashley have right now? Growth. Hmm. Okay. That is one that I will consider because growth is basically calm mind in this game because it ups special defense and special attack because special is just one stat. Assuming it works like it does in other generations just with the gen 1 special merger. If that works the way I think it works, that is a very good move. Um, I know I didn't check literally everything but I checked a lot of the stuff. Mm. I say that, but I see things. I see items through the walls, and I'm like, I gotta go get those. Yeah, um, growth is something I would consider putting on Ashley or Locke, just because they're special attackers. And if I can make them special tanks and boost their special attack to astronomical proportions, that seems really, really good. That's something I would highly consider. It's just like how Amnesia in this game is probably the most broken move because it boosts both special attack and special defense by two stages. Yeah, um, that's definitely something to consider moving forward. Okay, um, Gloom, you're gonna die, I'm sorry. Take your slobber somewhere else. Take your Gloom back to Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, that's actually a good conversation topic. Tears of the Kingdom is new as of this recording. And by new, I mean it came out in the last month, so I, I've been playing it a heck of a lot. I've done a lot in that game already. It's been a really good, just stress relief game. Um, yeah, I really love Tears of the Kingdom. If you have not played it yet, highly recommend it. It's probably my favorite Zelda game of all time. I, I tend to enjoy the newer Zelda formula more than some of the traditional Zelda titles. Um, but yeah, Tears of the Kingdom is just a fantastic game. It's probably going to end up being my game of the year for 2023. And um, I'm not even ashamed to say that. Okay, we do have a lot of items here. Next special, pee, pee up. Awakening, not that good. But hey, it's something. Hi, are you somebody? S can't you see I'm hiding? 
You do that, sir. I, I won't stop you. I promise. I promise I won't do anything to harm your chances of survival. Well, to the best of my ability, at least. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we have not fought this guy yet because this is an enclosed room. My Pokemon are my loved ones, I think is what he said. And also, that's weird. I mean, we know from Gen 4 that the Pokemons had the babies with the people. So, uh... Not that strange, but still kind of strange, not gonna lie. NGO, as the kids say. <laughs> NGO is not something the kids say. NGO is something that, like, most people say if they, like, are from my generation. Of course you paralyzed me. And you confused me! Great! Before I could even friggin' move! Oh my god, Tulip! Yo ho! Stop this! And you have Ice Beam too, don't you? You have friggin' Sing too? You're just a stall! You're just a stall bag! I have an awakening! Bro! This is so stupid! Don't paralyze me! Thank you! God, this Lapras was built just to annoy people! Oh my god. Confused, right? You. I don't even know what I was gonna call you, but it was not gonna be nice. Good! Thank you, Bulbas! I appreciate your service. Oh my gosh. Tulip is level 43. Thank you, Jesus. Alright, do we have a paralyzed heal somewhere? We have full heals. Do we have a para heal? No. Doesn't seem that we do. Um, well, I'm gonna be heading back to the woman. The woman downstairs. Soon enough. I did not fight these people yet? That rotten president, he shouldn't have sent me to the Tisky branch. Or Tixi branch. Is this the Tixi branch? Is that what we're calling this place? Performer wants to fight and sent out Magneton. Oh my god, you're not a steel type yet. I don't have any advantage here. Okay, um. Yeah, Serpentine. Gotta use Dig Strats. Okay. Let's go for Dig. And we will kill you. Pretty handedly. Nice. Tentacool. Tentacool is so cool. Hello, Governor. My name is Tentacool. You know what? We can kill it. We have 11 levels on it. The worst it has this bubble beam on me. Yeah. I figured. And look at that. Level 39. We are doing the damn thing. Okay, Licky Tongue. Yeah, for experience. God, Licky Tongue just makes me so uncomfortable. It's crazy to me that this Pokemon has been in the game since Gen 1. Like, why? Why has this thing been plaguing the franchise since it's, like, birth? <laughs> I, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's dead. <laughs> the demon has been murdered. <laughs> you don't have anything for me because you're a ground type. Yeah, your bone club ain't doing shite, mate. I'm gonna slash you thrice and you'll die. I could have gone for fly, but it would have taken more turns. Probably, because fly would have killed. Not in one hit. Alright. Let's go for fly. The good thing about charcoal is that it is a mixed attacker in this gen, so... Truly, most moves we put on it will do at least decent. And that is very good. Alright. We quad resist your pedal dance, but uh, nice try. Thank you for the attempt. It is much appreciated. It makes us feel better when we murder you. <laughs> because you put up a fight. Okay. Bingo! Nice. Some more items. Moonstone. Doesn't do much for us currently, but... Firestone! 
These are random, I'm pretty sure, so it's kind of funny how we both got those. God, there's a lot of friggin' trainers here! I assume these are all trainers. I don't actually know. We're, we're gonna see soon enough, but uh... It's a lot of trainers to get through. This is a freaking big dungeon. I kind of underestimated how long this place would take. I mean, this is now our third video here, technically. And we're not even gonna finish it this time around. I mean, we had the exit there. I guess I can't complain because like, we've had access to the exit for a while now. But damn. There's so many trainers to fight and so many items to get if you go out of your way. And I'm definitely going out of my way because I want to get as much stuff as possible before we move on. I want to be prepared for Sabrina because even though this is a randomizer and we already took down Koga who's technically identical to her, um, randomizer wise, she just seems more foreboding for some reason just because of who she is in the Pokemon lore. Um, <laughs> I don't trust her, and she scares me. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're, we're gonna train up, we're gonna try and be in a good place, get everyone on the same page. Ideally, oof, frick, Aurora Beam, that's not good. Um, ideally I can get Charcoal and everyone else up to level 45 maybe, because that's when Charcoal gets Flamethrower. Has to wait till level 45, but hey, we're not that far off. Really, if you think about it. You traitor! Um, that's what you think. I'm not a traitor, actually. But, uh, thanks for your input, I guess? Okay. Another Team Rocket dude! Jesus, what is their deals? Parahill... And Lemonade on... Lemonade, I guess? It pains me to be using these items, but here's the thing, I'm getting a lot of money, I can always go and buy more, it's fine. I'm one of the four rockets, brothers! I can always go buy more items, that's really not the issue here. Thero, okay. Uh, let's just fly and kill Thero. Hopefully in one hit? Not quite. Oh, you try to fly? Okay, well. Uh, let's see how that works out for you, buddy. We're gonna go into Serpentine, who resists. And we're gonna go for... <laughs> we're gonna go for a rock throw. Hey, it actually friggin' hit! I always doubt rock throw's accuracy, but it actually hit that time. Level 40! I'm so happy! Charcoal's level 40! Hey, 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 hey! Alright, Sand Slash, you are a ground type, so unless you got a rock move, you can't do much. Sand Attack! Nice try, Buckaroony. Poison Sting, oh. It didn't work! <laughs> oh, Sand Slash. And of course, Sand Attack hits, even though I'm a friggin' flying type. I hate that that move has that quirk. And watch, you're actually gonna do, like, significant damage because I'm gonna miss. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> it worked out. Okay. Uh, I don't know how many of these guys are trainers. Are you guys trainers at all? Let's, let's... Are you a trainer? Oh dear, oh dear, help me please! Look at him, he's such a coward! <laughs> that girl's roasting that poor man. The Rockets came and take over the building! Team Rocket is trying to conquer the world with Pokemon. Are they now, Missy? Who are you? They must have targeted self for our Pokemon products! Okay, uh, yeah, this was just a cute little floor. Those guys don't have much of notes, really, to give us. Um, we missed a lot on our first run through. I don't even know if we fought this guy. No, we did not! What the frick was I missing? I was absolutely not going for this building correctly because there are so many trainers here that I have not fought. What the actual heck was wrong with me? Why did I miss so much on my first run through of this place? I'm gonna look back at, um, 
last episode and the one before, and I'm gonna be like, wow, I missed something really obvious. Because that's the only way to explain what I have done in this building, which has been play lackalesterly. <laughs> Ember. Purr, you're gonna do five damage to me. Hey, love to see it. And we'll retaliate with the slash. Hey. <laughs> okay. Um. What's on this? What's on this floor? There's this. Bingo. Item. No more room. Are you kidding me? I ran out of room again. Okay. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. In between episodes, I am going to go to the PC and I'm going to consolidate my inventory and we're going to finish up the building next time, for real. I I thought this was going to be done at the very least by this episode. God, this is dragging on. We'll finish it next time. Probably. I hope. Jesus, let me out of this goddamn building. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing as it greatly helps out the channel. And with all that said, I will see you all in the next one. Bye now.